I have terminal cancer. My mum has decided that she feels like she deserves all the money I leave behind. Family is great, they say. I just heard through the grapevine that you changed your will. Hey, sorry, I'm just getting back to you. I'm not sure who you spoke to, but yes, I did change it. I'm not sure if you spoke to grandmum or not. However, that being said, I made sure to cover funeral costs and I added a little bit in there just in case there are other expenses that arise. This is terribly sad, I've got to say off the bat. The money is going to go to whom I want it to. The dogs have a place to go and it's all worked out. My ex-husband will be taking them. He said he wanted them and I'm going to put some money in an account to make sure they have insurance through their lifetime. The house is going on the market Monday and I'm going to just downsize and grab an apartment or a one-story house or something in the meantime. I hired a group to come in and remove furniture after everyone takes whatever they want. I spoke with a funeral and they will come pick up my body for cremation. I'm not sure if you're concerned or anything about having to pay for expenses, but I sat down with a financial advisor and a lawyer and I have everything set so nobody will need guidance or anything. Oh, OP, I'm just so sorry that you even sent this mesh in the first place. Then their mum says, well, that's great that you've put most of everything together. Um, well, what about all the money? I know you have the life insurance policies, then the money from the house, investments, and I'm sure you have other savings. What? Ah, I see. Well, yeah, I have a plan in place. A good chunk is going to someone I feel needs it, and there will be some left for expenses, but in all honesty, you and your wife are well off. I didn't feel as though you guys needed it. No worries though, because you won't have to pay or take care of anything. Like I said, I have it all worked out. Selfish. Family deserves the money. We have been here for you. We deserve to be rewarded for that. I hope you fix your mistake before it's too late. Otherwise, you're tearing apart this family. Oh, goody. Glad to see this is all going over so well. And here is where our conversation ends. Thanks for everything. Just a reminder, guys. OP has terminal cancer. And this is the way that their mum is messaging them. Unbelievable. If you want to see more incredible parenting just like that, then stick around. This is r slash insane parents. Insane mum called the police because I didn't feel like talking to her for two days. Wow. Okay. So... <laughs> It was, but it's better now. It wasn't nearly as bad. Oh, good. Then mum says, Hey, called you yesterday and didn't hear from you. Just checking to make sure you're okay. Let me know, please. Thank you. And then she calls the police. If you ever do that again, I will block you. That is mental. I don't get why she's so mad. I let my kid sleep on the recliner or couch sometimes. All right, so your kid is there with the cat. Sending a message to your mum. This is how these two sleep. Well, why is she out of school? She's not. That was last night. My lights are just bright. Oh, but it's funny. He sleeps with her all night. Hopefully in a bed. Yeah, usually. She keeps sneaking out and getting in the recliner. I don't know why. You need to get a control of these kids. Why? Are you not allowed to sleep on the sofa with your cat? What is wrong with that? Oh, she continues. Bat their butt and stop letting them control the household. Beats, not bats. Sorry, so you're, you're saying assault your children? Great. What, because she sleeps in a chair sometimes? No, I cover her up and let her sleep. She has controlled your household since she was born. You forget that she's the one with sleep issues. She's been going to sleep without meds, finally. So she gets to say where she sleeps? Well, I can't pick her up and my partner has to go to bed at 8.30. Look, as long as she's getting sleep, I don't really care where in the house it is. Okay, this is even worse than I first thought. She has sleeping difficulties and her grandma is complaining to this level? Insane. I just had a new baby and my mum had a mental breakdown because I asked her to wash her hands. She sat in my bathroom for three hours crying. I've made everyone wash their hands before they hold her. I'm just trying to keep her safe. Yeah, seems completely logical to me. I understand. Seems like you should have people wear masks too. Well, yeah, I almost have because of how serious RSV has been here. She's also really sick with jaundice and is still getting over it. I'm trying to protect her little immune system. Well, I wasn't planning on putting my hands in her mouth. <laughs> Sorry, that is probably the most ridiculous comment i've ever seen i just want everyone to wash their hands before holding her it shouldn't be that big of an ask all right well i'm going to bed can you believe that it takes literally a minute to wash your hands maximum to see your grandchild ridiculous homeschool group comforting a mum who never taught her 14 year old the months of the year or his tables wait what surely not all right my 13 year old daughter doesn't know her times tables or the states of australia let alone capital cities or what other countries look like on a map well, thank goodness I'm not the only one. My 15-year-old is way behind and I blame myself completely. Huge stress every day. Some things just don't sink in and feel like I'm ruining his life. But I found Squirk. I'm about to... I don't even understand. My son's almost 13. I've homeschooled him since he was six. He still doesn't know the alphabet, months, or even days of the week. He just doesn't remember. Sorry for... <laughs> Sorry, the days of the... He doesn't, he doesn't know the alphabet. He's 13 and he doesn't know the alphabet. Oh... 
my... I mean, simple solution here. I don't want don't to put this on anyone, but maybe send your kid to school so they can learn what the letter A is. My parents are divorced. This is what my dad sent my mum today on Thanksgiving because his plans fell through with his new girlfriend. All she did was invite us kids over and cook Thanksgiving dinner. Thanks again for ruining another holiday. I hope you choke. Wow, imagine having this much bitterness in your life, even a decent amount of time after splitting up with you. Wow, oh, embarrassing. I have very severe anxiety about having photos or videos taken of me. My mother wants to subject me to a several hour long photo shoot at a studio to eternalize my teenage beauty. Mum, there's no reason you need this many pictures. But it's a photo shoot. I want to eternalize your teenage beauty. That I never agreed to. But it's for myself. Well, I don't want to eternalize my teenage beauty. You don't need a photo shoot. Well, how else do you capture it? You take a picture at home with your phone. You're going to go to college and be gray and wrinkly by the time you come out. I want it now. Lol, sure. God knows what college life, partying and drinking will do to you. Plus studying 24-7. Work. You'll be a freaking mess. I want to remember you like this. How encouraging from your own mother. You're messed up. Whatevs. I want my pictures. You need me. So you help me and I help you. It's a business transaction of sorts. Oh, good. How all relationships between a parent and a child should be. Purely transactional. Great stuff. Throwback to when my mum found out I wasn't vegetarian anymore. I was vegan five years prior. Are you eating meat? Well, chicken sometimes. Why? Because I wanted to. I don't know. Lol. I think that you need to rethink that decision. It's so unhealthy for our bodies and it's gross and it's murder. And you know this. If you want to be so spiritual and such, I don't see how eating a life is a good choice. And you know this. You know how many vegan options there are out there. There's no need for you to eat an animal. Okay. I mean, if I know anything about parenting, it's that forcing your ideas on your own children is a great way to make them come around. This is bound to work. I can't wait for OP to become vegan again. I can't imagine why his kids either moved away or went to prison. My dad is red. I am yellow. All right. So OP posts this on Facebook, I think, clearly showing that they are Democratic and not Republican. And here we go. Their own dad replies. This hurts me that you feel that way. And it hurts me that it is so spot on. Spot on only to criminals and insert R word slur here. I don't really know why your dad would ever post that on a public platform, but hey, that's him. OP replies, hey, thanks for calling me the R slur. That's very fatherly of you. Yeah, I completely agree. Yeah, we'll read the Constitution of the United States. Bang, there's your comeback. Boom. Sit down, child. Lamau, how's your Obamacare treating you? You can thank a Democrat for that. You're welcome. I don't have Oscumbo care. I work my whole life and I have insurance, beg your pardon. The fact that this is happening on social media, by the way, is just brilliant, if you say so. Anyway, why are you here? If you don't like what I have to say, wouldn't it be easier to delete me instead of showing people that you're a butt who calls their children names on Facebook? Exactly. No, you think I feel like I'm a butt? I don't. You follow what you believe. I follow what history shows. And it shows that socialism is tearing America apart. It's easy to see. I still love this is happening publicly. I didn't call you the arsler. I said the people that don't believe in democracy are traitors to this country. No, no. I said this post was spot on. You said it was only spot on to criminals and R words. And since I'm obviously not a criminal, then you're saying I'm an R word. You can't change your words now. And trust me, I know you don't feel like a butt, but all of my friends who see this will think you are. So do yourself a favor. Unfriend me so you don't have to see differing views. I'm not going to argue with you. I don't go on your page to insult you, even though you post tons of dumb stuff really a phenomenal facebook post here and a truly magical interaction all right here's some text with my mother did you vote red purple no save the babies the government shouldn't have a say what you do and don't do with your body oh so we should be able to kill our children you need to go and get saved you wouldn't kill a baby after birth of a day so why should it be able to be murdered while in the womb they thought it was all right to have an unborn child killed in the womb in numbers five then we have some references from the bible and by references i mean wow that, that's that's a, that's a lot. Mum replies, You should watch the silent scream. It shows a baby in the womb trying to get away from the abortion tool. That's just foolish. You should read the whole Bible before you decide. Context, context, context. Please take the time to listen. I love you and I hope you have a good day. What is this then? Polster says Gen Z voters crashed the red wave for Republicans and he predicted it a week before the election. And the mum blames her own child. Did you just send me an article from The Blaze? The Blaze is garbage, mum. And all I read was, if people wouldn't have voted, it would be this way. It's not garbage, it's legit. 
And kids your age ruined the red wave. No, they didn't. They just voted where they wanted to vote. Simple democracy. And there we go. That is going to do it for this episode of r slash insane parents. I mean, some of the stuff I've just had a look at there is truly phenomenal, is what I will say. If you enjoyed it, drop a like on this episode, because I certainly did. If you want more right away, if you didn't know, Insane Parents is one of my most successful series on my channel. I'll put some more videos up on screen. Go and click that. I mean, this one right here is truly exceptional. The thumbnail alone. I mean, have a look at that. How can you not click that? As in seriously, how can you not click it? Click it!